All right, I'm with Coach Morton, the head football coach at Apex High School, and uh, ask a couple questions. I started coaching. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I started coaching uh, because my head football coach from the Apex High, Joe Brocken, was a major influence uh, in my life, and that's what I want to give back uh, to what he taught me. I want to give back to my players that I was fortunate to be able to coach. Um, so I thought it was a great way to get back to society and have a lot of fun watching young men grow up. They have taught me patience and have taught me a lot of this. Um, but they've also taught me how to enjoy life and be very glad for what I have had and very fortunate. Um, so I enjoy being with the young men, uh, being a part of their lives and one day with them coming back watching them go up. Just the the people here at Apex, uh, the players, uh, giving back to where I came from. Um, and just the just the Apex way. Uh, there's just not, no other place. I've been in a lot of other schools, and there's just no other school like this. I wake up every morning with a smile on my face and go to bed tired every day. So it's, it's a good place to be. I'll be able to coach uh, some great athletes that play in college and even pro. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, but I guess the biggest time was in Apex High at 08. Uh, we're at uh, that Hogger, and uh, we had to block the punt to win the ball game. And we blocked the punt, scooped the scored, and scored a touchdown, and uh, was able to go to the next round. During Thanksgiving and uh, December, it's uh, enjoyable to see. Come to Apex High uh, to enjoy the experience, just not with football, but with all the uh, growth, uh, great atmosphere. Uh, being a great person at Apex, being a team leader, um, but also having fun and uh, knowing that you're going to work hard. There's no doubt about it. Football is hard. All sports are hard, uh, but you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, you're going to get a lot of support throughout the community. Graduate and leave, we're hoping as coaches that you are proud of what you've done in the past four years. So that's, that's our biggest goal. Uh, I, we try to keep a family atmosphere, which is the first and foremost thing that we're, we're trying to get the, the team to buy into. So just the things that have worked well, the traditions that, that the kids buy into, the, the pasta parties, for instance, some of the theme thing, the runs that they do, uh, we, we continue with that. And then if there are workouts, the workouts we alter and change as the seasons go. I, I see, I see some, some more school, school spirit this year, and I think part, part of that, that is because, because people are back, back home, home, and there has there's been this feeling of, well, the, the school's going to get torn down soon, and then, and then well, we're, we're at green, green level, level, which is really apex, but it was really going to be green level, and so now being back at Laura Duncan Road, I see a different feel. And then I hope the student body recognizes what they have, because that's a beautiful facility over there. When I first started at Apex, we had a courtyard, it had grass. The students didn't keep up with it. They walked all over the place, and that ended up being concrete everywhere. I think you you learn from the people with which you interact, and so I, you know that that goes both ways. They learn from me, but I think I learn from them. And one of the things, the reasons I continue to keep coaching is that uh, that keeps me young. So it, there's some enthusiasm from your age demographic, uh, and that as you get older, you just slow down. There's some things that just don't you don't recover quite as easily. But the, the positive nature, especially being around people who are excited and happy to be doing something they're doing, I still have a passion for what I coach. I still have a passion when kids are doing well, but I rely on them to give me some energy back. Today is the 35th anniversary of the first day I taught at Apex High School. Oh, on, congratulations. Uh, thank you. I started October 1st, 1984, and it was not so much choosing Apex as Apex choosing me. Hi, I'm Coach Taylor. And I'm Coach Hartley. Um, I think I have two very successful teams. One was two years ago, and that was their skill set. But I think the team that we have this year will probably be our most successful because of their drive and their willingness to work together and push each other. Most memorable, memorable experience was definitely winning states last year with my JV team that went from 12 to 9 and over half of them had never trained before so it was really cool to see them actually succeed and do really well. Um, I actually started as a gymnast and as a gymnast they told me I was too fluid. Then I switched to dance and as a dancer I was too choppy. So then at middle school they're like, why don't you start cheer? And I fell in love with it and I've been doing it ever since. I like aspects of both. 
I like football games just for the atmosphere of being Friday night lights, but competitions are definitely much more.